One of the city's busiest and oldest rail lines is about to get a much needed facelift. Yeah, the CTA getting a billion dollar federal grant to improve the red and purple lines, but there is a little bit of a catch. CBS News Mike Puccinelli joining us live in the newsroom with those details. Hey, Mike. Hi, the catch is that the federal grant needed to be matched with local funds. That's why officials set up a transportation tax increment financing district to raise the money. Chicago's busiest rail line is going to get a long-awaited facelift. About 40% of the people that take all of public transportation take that line. Mayor Emanuel is talking about the red line, but the red, brown, and purple lines will all be affected by this $2.1 billion project. This will, over the next four years, create 6,000 jobs. Those workers will be rebuilding miles of century-old track from Belmont to Howard on the red line and from Belmont to Linden on the purple. They will also reconstruct four train stations at Bryn Mawr, Berwyn, Argyle, and Lawrence. Half the money will come from a first-of-its-kind $1.1 billion federal court construction grant. Here in Chicago, we're going to have the first grant out of that program, and it's going to be historic. The biggest part of this largest infrastructure project in CTA history is this bypass. It will enable brown line trains to travel over red and purple lines. That will eliminate a bottleneck that has existed at the Clark Street intersection since 1907. But it won't happen overnight. We're going to begin work on this project later this year, and it's about, it's about a four or five year project to complete. But for passengers, it's a redo that can't happen soon enough. It's about time. The red line obviously is in need of a lot of repairs, and I'm very excited to see what improvements can be made. Oh my God, yes, please. It's rush hour can be a nightmare. And once the project is completed, officials say capacity will be increased during rush hour by 30 percent. That much to the relief of rush hour commuters like that woman right there. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron, Lionel. All right, a lot of money. Mike, thank you.